What's going on you guys? Cam here and I'm back, finally, with another video for you today. So, my bad if I haven't uploaded in just in a while. I was out of town for a few days. I was just, you know, just enjoying myself and all. But, don't worry, I am not dead and I am back. And I want you to like and subscribe and press the notification button. That way you don't miss anything. So this time I'm going to be reacting to one of the newer SMO videos. This one is called Brooklyn Guy's Ear Problem. I think Brooklyn Guy's Ear Problem would have to do with him actually listening. Because he does not know even how to listen. All he really thinks about is talking about himself and just thinks about himself obviously being selfish. But apparently now we have a video of Brooklyn guy's ear problem. So we're just going to get right into this video and let's see what I've missed in these few days that I haven't made a video in a while. I'm glad I'm back. Let's go ahead. Come on, come on. I don't care about Vincent Van Gogh's ear. Hurry up and go to the next one. Boy, hey, oh, so they are using a new it? puppet of Brooklyn I'm guy. this online Good. ear auction. I'm trying to buy Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. Ew, what? Oh, wait, this what? Disgusting. Why do you want to buy an ear that someone bit off? Because nobody else has it and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right, for our next item up to auction, we have Evander Holyfield's right ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. And to verify the authenticity of said ear, we have the Mr. Evander Holyfield. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Holyfield, this is your ear, correct? Uh, what's that? This ear is your ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The okay, ear on Lavelle. the table is, in fact, the ear that Mike Tyson bit oh off of you. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, let's switch seats. I can't hear your ass. You know my ear on the table. My apologies, sir. Lavelle Holyfield. So, Mr. Holyfield. Yeah. Everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my ear right there. And why are you selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills, do. <laughs> it's the rent, you know. I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, folks. Oh, wait, Even what? Mr. Holyfield needs to pay his rent. So, let's start the bidding at $1,000. Do I hear $1,000? 1000 going once, 1000 going twice. Nothing. Okay. How about $500? Anyone for $500? Bid on it, boy. Selling someone's ear much. is absolutely nuts. You in the back, sir. Uh, you're just getting up to use the bathroom. Understood. Maybe a hundred dollars. Do I hear a hundred dollars? I get your earring with it. Come on. A hundred dollars? I'm buying it. A hundred dollars? Uh, I've just been notified that Not someone even a penny. from the Not online even a cent. auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. I don't want your ear, Lavelle. Mm. Yes, yes, I won. I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Yes. Boy, what are you gonna do when you get your bitten off ear? Well, I'm gonna put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. And whenever I meet people, I'm gonna say, "Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it." And they're gonna say, "No, uh." -uh. And then I'm gonna whip it out and show them, and they're gonna think I'm cool. But how? They're really gonna think you're ear. absolutely nuts, so and call the police on you, even though you well, are the when cops. Does it get ear? Well, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh, oh let's go to bed. I can't wait to get man. my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna count sheep while I sleep. I'm gonna count ears. I hope One it doesn't ear. deliver. You Two don't deserve ears. it. Boyney, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. I know. That's how excited I am. Because Boyney, he's a puppet, and so are you. Out? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boyney, that's icky. I know. I'm going to sleep. Huh? It's morning, Karen! Blighty, it's too early for this! I'm gonna go track my package! Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered! What? Package destroyed? What? Destroyed? Good. Blighty, what's wrong? I'm on the UPS website, and it says my package was destroyed! What? I don't know, let me check the news! Breaking news! A UPS plane has crashed into a children's hospital, destroying all the packages and killing hundreds of people. What? Oh, God, are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe my luck. I know, Boyne. It's awful. All those children. Forget your dead. ear. What about the my kids? My package is gone. Boyne, this family's suffering out there. I'm suffering, Karen. I'm the one whose package got destroyed. Oh, why does God so hate selfish. me? Why did what did I say in the beginning of my video? Stop being so selfish, Boyne. Karen, that was a Vander Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off. It was irreplaceable. How on earth could this have happened? Cut it out with the pump. 
puns pointy, it's not a joke! No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people die, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of Evander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not gonna do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not gonna let him bite the other one off. Cut it out, pointy! No, no, I'm gonna go oh to the auction house gosh. and I'm gonna say, how are you gonna make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite Evander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. Pointy! No, I'm gonna go there and tell him. Order, order, order. Damn it. Well, in any case, I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is demanding to get Evander Holyfield's other ear because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn Guy, explain what's going on. So I purchased Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bid off for $100 in an auction. And I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then BAM! The plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind. So now, they owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Hmm. Very interesting. What? Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should be their job to get him a new Holyfield ear. Hmm. Yes, that does make sense that it is UPS's fault that their plane crashed. So, Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want a Vander Holy ear that was this bitten over off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They owe me a Vander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite it off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite a Vander Holyfield's other ear off. And but why I would you even do that? I could give you a You're going to freaking prison. To go bite it off. Wait, me? I could bite his other ear off? Yes, you have 24 hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear off without being Why are you the giving crime. him that request? After that 24 hour You're the judge. Period, will you know what? So no, take them both to jail. Ear off. <laughs> Thank you, take them both to freaking no, jail. Get rid of Brooklyn I guy's badge. You would knock before you came in my house. It's really important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair though. And take out the judge. You look good. Oh, I don't feel good. Did you see on the news about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? I know, that was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. Um, you shouldn't, died. Rosalina. Yeah, but my package His was package does not matter. It was irreplaceable. What was your package? Like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, okay, so why do you even care if it was only And that was a huge because waste. it's not about the money, Marvin. It's about the ear. And the judge says I have 24 a body hours part. to legally bite off Evander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one. He was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, but I just came to you to Very. see if you know where Evander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is. I don't even know what he does now. Oh. Well, maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. Ooh, see, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm gonna go get my phone. Okay, I googled his agent's Not phone number. Not all the time. Call. Hello, you've reached Steve Stalberger, talent agent. Uh, yes. Do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do. Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it? In my mouth. What? What? I'm gonna okay, bite his ear off because guy. the judge said I could. Refresh Hello? on what you just said. Yeah, Hello? hang up the freaking up phone. Me. Well, maybe because the way you approach the situation. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said you were gonna bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> okay, I'll. I'll How was he I supposed to do that? Okay, it's ringing. Hello, you reached Steve Stalberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, you represent Evander Holyfield, correct? <sighs> this isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, 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 this is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Uh, okay, well then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let him know you're coming. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Which Applebee's? The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. So you're gonna criminalize yourself to just to like bite up someone's ear? Sir? Sir? Oh, oh, 
You, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Neville Holyfield. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What, what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're fired. Oh! <laughs> Hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you he me? is always so <laughs> rude to that freaking waitress. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Oh, oh man. man. No, that's okay. Okay. Well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetizer ear? Oh, uh, uh, what you got? What you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible. Ooh. Um. I ain't really in the <laughs> text mesh room. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what do you want? Mm. How about we go with a cheeseburger? Ooh, a cheeseburger ear. Good choice. Well, which one do you want? Che Good cheeseburger ear. What you got, what you got? How about an impossible cheeseburger? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, impossible burger. Yeah, got gotcha. you. I'll go put that in. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburger ear and your complimentary fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of ear jokes. <laughs> Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Whatever. Are, are you gonna watch me eat? Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. Uh, on my burger? Y yeah. Can we like do it close to your face though? Like, no, get out of my face so I can eat. It? Okay, it's time to go to jail. It is time to go to freaking prison. Breaking news! Okay, an Applebee's waiter has bitten off Evander oh, Holyfield's other man. ear while eating dinner. He actually did it. What? Why would you still have it in oh. your mouth? I don't know, I just <laughs> thought it was cool. Okay, well that's... like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting! Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? Oh, no, man. because it's Ugh. still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Well, how would anyone know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> <sighs> the fact that he really did all of this just for a freaking body part. It's just absolutely pathetic. Brooklyn guy, there was absolutely no point of you actually doing this. You did not have to spend a hundred dollars on a former boxer's freaking ear. And everyone knows what happened between him and Mike Tyson back in that fight. He just straight up bit that freaking ear off. Oh man, that is disgusting. Very disgusting. Oh my goodness, this is such just a pathetic, ridiculous episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video today. Please comment down below what do you think. And also, before I end this video, I would just like, I really, really hope that I don't get copyrighted over this freaking video. Because every time I go through one of my videos, the first thing I see is a freaking copyright. So I've been having issues with that. Hopefully there is no issues with this particular video right here. There, l listen to YouTube. It is all just reaction videos. You can see my face at the top left. Well, well, I'm like fully in front of your face right now. But when I'm reacting to videos, I'm literally at the top left of your freaking screen. And so technically, it should not even be freaking copyrighted. It's not like I'm selling videos or anything like that. They're reaction videos. So I hope you can acknowledge that, which I'm sure you do, yet I get copyrighted anyways. But anyways, enough of that. And until next time, I'll see you guys next time. And do not buy any freaking body parts like that, like Brooklyn Guy did. Stay away from ears, especially biting people's ears off. Disgusting.